Welcome back to Laser Products. In our last video, we covered some of the more common errors that we encounter when we're on the job site. Uh, we had several questions about arc mode and how we can shoot in arc mode, so we're going to try to address those today. The first question that we're going to cover is auto filleting in arc mode or auto filleting from lines to an arc. So we can't actually auto fill it in arc mode, but we can auto fill it our lines and then fill it those to our arcs. So if we have a shape like this box here that we can use auto fill it on, we can start on one end, taking our point here and here for our first line, coming down to our left hand side and our top point and bottom point for our second line. And then our third edge here, our left and right points for that third line. Then we can go up to that top upper right corner of the screen where it says laser mode, we can tap on that word line. We're going to select arc from the four available options to shoot with. We're going to shoot our three points for our arc out here. And our software will create that arc for us. And then we can just go over on the right hand side of the screen and we can select fill it. And we can fill it these edges together. So it will extend this arc out to where we auto fill it in the square shape on the left hand side. That's going to give us nice sharp points on the top and the bottom that we can pull tape to and verify that that arc is beginning and ending in the correct location. So another topic that we'd like to cover today is going to be shooting more complex arcs. So even though we cannot auto fill it in arc mode, we can scribe in arc mode. So for this example, we're going to use a kidney bean shape. And what we want to do if we have a shape like this that has multiple arcs uh, is we want to kind of mark out where each of those arcs is going to begin and end. We call those our tangent points where two arcs or two radiuses come and meet together. So on a shape like this, We've got our starting point for our inside radius right here. The ending point is right around here, and that's where this arc ends and this top one begins. So my third point I want to mark off is going to be where this arc ends and this large one on the outside begins. And then I'm going to mark this point off as well. So we're going to be using some kind of a target here to mark off where these tangent points are. If you're able to actually see them with the laser, we can use a small piece of our green tape with a line on it. If we can't actually capture one of these edges, we can use one of our target blocks or a pin target, uh, whatever target we need to, to be able to capture these tangent points. We're also going to use targets for these inside radiuses here, or our inside points for our radiuses here, anywhere that we can't shoot directly onto that surface. The way we want to capture this to make sure we do it as accurately as possible is we're going to start directly on one of these tangent points for point number one. Our second shot is going to be somewhere in the middle of this first radius. And our third shot is going to be right at that tangent point between the first and second arcs. So as we continue shooting, our fourth point at the top and our fifth point at this tangent the software is going to draw the arc through here, our first three points, and then use point number three as the starting point for the second arc on the top. So as we continue around this shape, our sixth shot will be here, somewhere in the center of this arc. Our seventh shot will be down here on the bottom at that tangent point. Our eighth shot will be in the center of this radius. And our ninth shot is actually going to be on that same target that we captured our first point on so we can complete this shape. So as we go through, regardless of how many radiuses there are, we can just continue to shoot three points for each arc. And we wanna make sure that that odd numbered point is always going to land on our tangent between one radius and the next. So one thing we wanna watch for when we're scribing in arc mode, again, is going to come back to those tangent points and how accurately we shoot those and why we want to make sure we have a target on each of those points. So if we have two arcs coming together, 
where they meet right here at our tangent point, if we zoom in on that and we, we find that we've misshot this point, we're actually going to see where the one arc is going to come to a cusp before it continues down the other side. So we get this sharp point where our one radius meets the other if we don't shoot that tangent point in the correct place. So if we notice we have a shape like this on our screen, we shot point number one, two, three, four, and five. What we want to do is we're going to undo points four, five, and three. We're going to adjust where that target is for our tangent point here and reshoot that for our third point to recapture our first arc. And then we're going to capture points four and five and see where this turns out afterwards. What we're looking for is this nice smooth transition. If our cusp gets worse, you're gonna to wanna to move that target in the opposite direction. If we have just a very minor cusp, what we can actually do is just go ahead and fill it, these two arcs together to put a radius over that and kind of just clean up that edge a little bit. If that, us, if that cusp is more major though, then we're going to want to undo those points and reshoot so we can capture the radius here. So that's going to cover the topics that we wanted to go over for you today. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, we'd also like to hear any suggestions or uh, topics that you guys may like to see covered in future videos. Thank you guys for your time and you all have a great day.